First tonight, if there's one thing humans are good at, it's complaining. Most of us are especially good at it when we sit down with coworkers. That's when the grousing and the grumbling really reach new heights. But occasionally, occasionally, those gripe sessions lead to something constructive, as they did with one particular organization here in Maine. Adam Gardner has what most people would consider a totally cool job. Four, three, two, one. I'm at the barrel of a gun. In 1991, he and two college friends formed the band Guster. Those same three guys have been happily playing music and making a living with Guster ever since. But Gardner has another gig, a nonprofit in Portland called Reverb which he founded and runs with his wife, Lauren. The idea for Reverb came about when Guster was touring from one city to another. Adam Gardner, who was passionate about reducing environmental waste in his home, was distressed by what he saw. Piles of plastic cups and bottles, wasted food, big tour buses running on diesel. We were sitting around like this, talking about uh, lamenting the fact that our tours were so negatively impacting the environment. and. Uh, and I told Lauren that story. She's like, so you guys are just sitting around shrugging your shoulders, being like, man, this is too bad. It's pretty much like, what? we'll do something about it. So it was really her that kicked us in the pants. But it was another musician Let's give them something to talk about. who showed them the way. Adam and I had been talking about this and you know this idea and, and chewing on it for quite some time. And this miraculous pamphlet came in the mail to us from his sister in California saying, look, Bonnie Raitt is doing this thing called the Green Highway and she's got tents and banners and flags and this little village set up and running on biodiesel um, with her trucks and buses. And gosh, that's, what, that's a lot of what we've been talking about, but she's actually doing it. That was the catalyst for Lauren Sullivan and Adam Gardner to turn their talk into action. They founded Reverb in 2004 with the goal of making musical tours, festivals, and venues more green. Behind the scenes backstage, that might be fueling the trucks and buses with biodiesel, setting up recycling bins, composting the food scraps from the catering company. The gardeners knew that musicians can inspire and educate, and they figured Reverb could too by tapping into that special relationship between artists and their fans. Do you remember after you started up Reverb, the first time that you approached another musician or another group and said, this is what we're doing, would you guys like to come on board? Yeah, absolutely. Because So that's my role within Reverb is the, is the artist relations person. And certainly in the beginning, it was definitely just calling up friends and other bands and being like, I know you care about things like this. Here's what we're trying to do. And so the first call I made was to the Bare Naked Ladies. At the time, climate change was not part of the national conversation, and Reverb had to do a lot of work to win over managers and venue operators who were reluctant to, say, set up recycling bins at concerts. So it was definitely, uh, you're a little bit of the crazy hippie, but we embraced that and said, you know what, but we've got our logistics down. We understand what it means to be um, part of the music industry. Adam's you know, a musician who's been touring for many years who so under understands the hurdles and pitfalls. Getting the fans attending a concert to think about the environmental impact of their behavior is the other crucial part of what Reverb does. It urges fans to volunteer either for Reverb or other nonprofits that are invited to performances. And personally, I feel that that's where the real changing the world comes in. If music fans wear a silly hat, uh, because a favorite artist wore one, then maybe music fans will change their life in a way that's positive for the planet or support an important social cause because their favorite artist does. After Bare Naked Ladies, other high-profile performers joined hands with Reverb. Jack Johnson, John Mayer, Maroon 5, more recently Heart and Fleetwood Mac. And for us now, we're looking at different genres, right? So how do we, you know, Zach Brown Band, that was a big win to, to, toward country, Casey Musgraves. Lately, Reverb has made inroads in pop. That's always exciting, too, when it's not somebody I know I have no connection to. It's like, whoa, Pink? Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> Shawn Mendes, incredible. Harry Styles, how did that happen? If you think Reverb is all about celebrity, wrong. This is a data-driven organization focused on numbers and results. How do you measure what kind of an impact you're having? We have spreadsheets for days. So our on-site coordinators, when they, every single night, they're looking at the bags they have. We know how many gallons those bags are. Are they full of recycling? What kind of recycling? How many bottles are we receiving donations for? We're tracking the gallon usage on water stations. 
While fans are caught up in the music of Dave Matthews, Reverb is looking at 15 years of statistics from its partnership with the band. We collected 338,000 gallons of recycling, 138,000 pounds of food waste were composted, and we supported over 2,100 family farms across the nation. All the result of Reverb's engagement. That's right. Celebrity undeniably has its benefits. Take the guitars lined up in the reverb office. Guitar makers donate the instruments, musicians autograph them, and reverb uses them for fundraising and rewards. Do you know what the story is behind the signatures and drawing? Uh, <laughs> that's a self-portrait of Dave Matthews. Uh, <laughs> it's funny to be like, is that the way he sees himself? Because that's frightening. But uh, you, yeah. were a, you were a psychology major in college. <laughs> There's some pretty rich material to analyze there. It is. I'm not going to touch that. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's the story behind a Martin guitar model known as the D20. But this one they call the Martin 420. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all about legalization of marijuana. And naturally, we had Willie Nelson sign this. And that's, that's Willie right there. You must have been especially thrilled when this one came in the door. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. Right now, you might be saying, OK, what Reverb does is great. But what can I do about climate change? I don't work in the music business, and I can't pick up the phone and recruit Maroon 5. Adam Gardner says we can all make a difference in our own spheres of influence. If you're a teenage kid, OK, how can I influence my parents? How can I influence my school? How can I influence my peers? How can I influence my sports team? Maybe we should use reusable water bottles instead of single-use bottles. Whatever it is, how can you do it? Guster gave Adam Gardner and Lauren Sullivan a platform. They used it to combine music and idealism and create an organization that is making a real difference. Reverb just celebrated its 15th anniversary. Where would you like to be with the organization 15 years from now. You know, as most nonprofits would say, we'd love to be out of business because the work that we're doing isn't necessary anymore. I don't necessarily You're not going to be out of business. Unfortunately, I mean, or fortunately, but <laughs> yes. When you look back at where you started out and then look to where you are now, what goes through your head? Uh, hope, honestly. That's really it. It's it having seen and talked to so many fans, musicians, industry leaders within the music space and even outside of it, um, I actually have hope that, that we, can, we can come together and tackle this massive issue. A key part of their philosophy I think is really useful. They say it's better to have everybody doing something than to have a few people doing everything as you try to bring about change. Excellent point, yeah. for sure. Yeah. If what you have just learned about Reverb has piqued your interest and you'd like to learn more, just head to newcentermain.com slash 207 or head to our mobile app. There's a lot more information there about Reverb.